What's up everyone? It's your girl Stephanie and today we have yet another vlog. A very exciting one for me personally because my outdoor couch just got in today. It needs to be assembled. So we're gonna be putting that together. Well, outdoor furniture is very difficult to shop for, very expensive, but I got a really good deal on this couch and the little coffee table, but it took two months to get here. So I'm just excited to put it all together. Hopefully it looks nice. But before we get into it, let's talk about today's sponsor and that is Living Proof. I've partnered with Living Proof to showcase their PHG or Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. This thing is a brand new product. Let me tell you. I mean, if you watch my channel even for a little while, you know that I I am a grease ball. My hair is so oily. Dry shampoo is the number one product that I use on my head. It beats out, you know, shampoo, conditioner, any other product because I use it every single day. So you could say that I am a dry shampoo connoisseur and this stuff rules. This dry shampoo is designed and formulated to mimic the cleaning process of a rinse out shampoo. And they actually gave me this pamphlet here and I was looking at it and I thought this was a really, this right here, where is it? There we go. Here we have your hair, it's all dirty and greasy. Here it's cleaned with uh, the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And then here is if you were to actually like wash your hair with water. I just think this is so cool. What do you use to see this stuff? I wanna see all the oil in my own hair. Like I said, I'm gonna show you some real results right now because today is the second day of not washing my hair. And the evening that I washed my hair, I did put in some dry shampoo because I like to do it before bed, but yesterday I decided I'm not gonna do it. Yesterday, I didn't even need to put dry shampoo in my hair at all. It was amazing. But today I woke up, you know, it got greasy. Whether I'm wearing my hair in like a low bun, which I, you know, I do that all the time or I'm wearing it out. You could tell that it's greasy sometimes. Honestly, my hair straight up looks wet. Like greasy hair is not saved by a bun or an updo or anything. You still gotta like get some dry shampoo in there. Just like any traditional dry shampoo, you wanna give it a good shake and then spray it in sections. But the thing that you wanna do with this is actually let it sit there for a little while. So they say 30 seconds, but they even say like, you could let it sit on your hair while you're, like, you're doing your makeup so that the dry shampoo powders can absorb the oil, and then you wanna really give it uh, a good shake. And when you're shaking it, you're actually removing the powder that has absorbed all those oils and sweat and odor, and you are just left with just very clean feeling and looking hair, so soft. This product also balances your sebum levels, refreshes the scalp, and provides pollution protection. If you are looking for a good dry shampoo, honestly, look no further. Make sure to check out that link in my description box and thank you to Living Proof for making this game changer, <laughs> honestly. Okay, let's get into the rest of the vlog. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. Look at this. Have I ever shown this water bottle that I have? It's like very encouraging to drink more water. I feel like I definitely drink a ton more water when I have this all filled up. So I'm gonna just sit here and fill it up in my fridge. I really hope that I'm able to build this couch thing. <laughs> it's really big. So I hosted my sister's bridal shower this last weekend. I will say, I feel like I did a pretty good job in terms of like, from when we decided to do the bridal shower to the date, it was only two weeks of planning. It was a lot. I honestly was so exhausted for like two days afterwards. But I think it was a really big success um, and everyone had a great time. Everyone got tested before coming over, uh, you know, every single person, even the vaccinated people. It was like 20 people. I wish I would have taken more video. I have some pictures of like my whole house and how it looked, but obviously it was crazy while it was happening. But I made this. I made this kind of like macrame photo wall. There was like a table 
down here as well. I asked everyone uh, to send me their, you know, favorite photos with Ashley. And this is a five and a half foot dowel. I just bought it from uh, Home Depot. And, you know, I attached the macrame cord onto it. And then I did a reverse, reverse, oh, what kind of, that knot. I just doubled it on there, strung it on, and then attached all of these photos with little mini clothespins. Very effective and super easy. It really is a nice like centerpiece or focal point. All you have to do is get some macrame cord, a dowel, your photos and some way to attach it. And these clothespins are like super cheap. You know, you can get them from Michaels. What I did at the bottom of the cord, you know, I looped it. And then at the bottom here, I just knotted it. Um, you don't even have to do this, but I knotted it with a little uh, wooden bead just to make it look nicer. Here's the other thing about this area. Okay, let me back up. I really don't know what to do with this whole section. What I'm honestly thinking is more storage. Like I have those cabinets over there. And first of all, I have no shoe storage out here. So if you're like at my front door, that's where I put a lot of shoes. But otherwise, it's in my guest closet. I'm thinking maybe I like continue this thing like onto here. I have a general storage issue. And then I had maybe even those like kind of glass or, or like, you know, ones with glass doors up top. So it'll be a surface. It could be like a bar area, other things. And I could have more storage up top. What do you all think about that? Honestly, because I feel like otherwise I don't need another sitting area and it could still look nice if it was glass and I had my like nice serveware in there and I had like vases and stuff like I feel like it could look really nice. I ended up putting my dining table over here. I still want to paint it. It also looks really nice just like that too, but I really want to paint it. Okay, I'm going to paint it. It's going to happen. But doesn't it just look so nice? I mean... I'm spending too much time on this, okay. It's always the case that you end up doing stuff around your house that you've just been putting off for so long. And obviously I had a, a bunch of people coming over, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to put all these things up that I haven't put up. I had gotten this little hanging from uh, Urban Outfitters. Honestly, if you're trying to find some cute, inexpensive little pieces, Urban Outfitters, man. And then I also, this is, no one saw this, but I, this is also from Urban Outfitters. Um, I had been trying to find something to cover the like electrical box that's located in my bedroom. But I obviously, like I didn't want to put a painting up there. I wanted to put something that could be easily moved aside. So I found this kind of, uh, fabric, I don't know, would you call it? This is not a tapestry. Uh, fabric hanging, and it is really cool, and it fits perfectly. And then I ended up putting up these um, curtains. I had these kind of cream colored ones before, but they weren't long enough, and I don't know, they're kind of boring. The upsetting thing about this is I got this on Wayfair, I still have to steam them too, by the way. So many creases. I got this on Wayfair and the photo for real was like not a lime green, but a pretty bright green. And I got it and it's like a dark olive. So I'm kind of upset about that, but I don't know. I put it up anyways. I hate returning things and they fit perfect and everything, but it's a completely different green than I had wanted. I just keep delaying and delaying and delaying. Let me um, get prepared. We'll go out there and start building this thing.
Josie, are you assisting? Huh? Are you my assistant? actually how they did this so it is like slightly off the ground ever so slightly I have to get the top part in first but then that means lifting the whole thing while I'm trying to screw it in the other side was a lot easier I can do this I can notch in this upper one for that. I don't want to do it too, too crazy tight, but... <sighs> Why did that take so long? Oh. Yeah. Gross. Yo, I don't want to play right now. I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to relax, okay? It looks so cute. I'm actually so, 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 so hungry right now. I haven't eaten. All I had today was a smoothie at like 10. I do this all the time. I'm like so hungry that I can't even like think straight. Um, I have like half of like a machaca breakfast burrito <laughs> uh, that I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to have a fruit salad. Mmm. Y'all. Yeah. Go and get some pit fruits right now. Kiwi time. This one's pretty big, so what I'm gonna do. You don't know if this is the proper way to peel a kiwi, by the way. Um, oh my gosh, I demonstrated this in one of like my very earliest first vlogs ever. People really think that cutting up kiwis is difficult, but it is really not. If it's a smaller kiwi, you don't have to cut it in half. But if it's a bigger one like this, you literally just slide it in and then you slide around. Look at that. Oh, it is always so satisfying to do a full ring. If it grips, it's totally okay. You can keep going. It doesn't matter, but oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God, that is so good. Slippery little suckers. This will definitely be like my after dinner dessert and maybe a snack later on for sure. Tell me why I have like this whole dining area. I got a whole ass like couch and I always sit on this, whoa, little pink floor chair at my coffee table. I don't know. I know I didn't do too much of a vlog today. I mean, I, I built a couch, okay? So, coffee table tomorrow, and I'll show you this project I'm working on. Honestly, it's like my biggest project ever. Even though it's not that big, but I put the most time into it, so. All right, so yeah. I think I'm in the exact place that I ended yesterday's vlog. Um, but I just came over here because I have my earrings over here. I made the little butterflies. I think they're really cute. 
first of all, putting a bunch of different colors together, you know, and then like rolling it out and then cutting them. And that's how I got these like little designs on the wings. And then I um, used like a UV Revit resin after I baked them. Yeah, and then strung them on with the, the jade and the pearl. I made these last night just as an experiment. They're just clear um, glass beads. And I put little seed beads in between. Little dangly guys. Let me show you this project I've been working on. I've like taken it up and put it down so many times now <laughs> and I finally am gonna complete it. So I made this out of a clay. The most time consuming thing with this was not like the actual rolling out and baking and everything, it was the sanding because I made it really smooth, super, super smooth. I'm gonna make it like a little wall hanging. So here's the mirror over here. I actually just took this mirror out of like a palette. <laughs> so an old makeup palette. Um, and if you see here with this guy, you see all these holes down here. And what I'm planning on doing is I made all these little strings of beaded stuff and I'm gonna hang them. What I need to do with this now is actually paint it. I think I'm gonna spray paint it. If I brush, paint it with acrylic or something, you're, you're gonna be able to see brush strokes, I feel like. So I think I have a blue that would look nice, but pretty much what I did with like these guys is I made these little um, raindrop beads from clay, and I did paint these actually. And then I covered them in UV resin, so then they're a little bead in there. And I strung seed beads on there and finished it off. This is the first time like using this kind of closure. And then I figured out, you know, where I wanted all this to, to lay. So this is like number 13. I forget how many I have. I think 13's like over here. I also did a sun and a moon one. <laughs> Tell me why I put sunglasses on the sun. It looks honestly so janky, but <laughs> anyways. Sun I had as like number eight. This over here, moon I had. Okay, yeah, I think there's 16 total, so. Right here. And they're all different like lengths. You get the picture. It's gonna hopefully look really, really cool. But right now what I need to do with this is prime it, spray prime it, and also then spray it. I hope the blue I have is, is nice. I'm gonna go to the shed and check out my spray paints. Joe, what are we doing, huh? A little spider. Ooh. Okay. What did I get this for? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, should I, should I use this? I'm kind of scared to use this just in case, like, maybe I should use it on something else first just to see how it looks. Um, okay, so I'm actually taking these two out because I have some frames that I want to paint. So I'm going to do that. Peaceful blue, have I used this one? Satin, so these are both satin. So let's just test these two out and see how they are. I'm not gonna use this blue cause it's a gloss. I don't wanna have to deal with a gloss right now. And then this is actually what I would use to, like as the finishing coat. And then here is the primer. Primer, very important because it makes the actual paint itself stick on so much better. I should like build a little shelf up here for all the spray paints. I should look it up on like Etsy or something, or not Etsy, on um, Pinterest and see if there's ideas for a spray paint shelf that I can like DIY.
By the way, if you're at like Home Depot or Lowe's and you're buying a bunch of spray paint, they'll definitely give you like a little box like this to carry them all in. I don't know why I thought that was a good tip, but it's honestly, I can't, I'm reusing this box all the time because it fits them, like six of them perfect. I used the, this one to spray paint Ashley's sign. Ashley says I drew. What else do I need right now? I have a two empty Laneige lip sleeping masks as my stand for this guy. Joe, you're gonna have to get out of here. You're gonna have to get. Joe, okay, sorry. Go, 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 up. I'm gonna do two coats of that on, ah, mosquito, on uh, the frames at least. I'll, I'll do another one on the cloud as well. Let's, let's test out these blues though. Please. We'll see how this dry. Lest our building. <laughs> the coffee table. And it's going to be a lot easier. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, I just FaceTime with my sister for like super, super long. Ugh. Can I get... Ugh. Can I get started on this? That's nice, that's sturdy. This is actually, I believe, this whole collection is teak. I believe so. It's not like teak like wood. This is actually teak, so it's really good for outdoor. It can uh, survive the elements, but I don't know if I need to treat it with anything. Oh yeah. Okay, I actually already did um, one more primer and now I'm gonna do the colors. can't even tell the sky is like pink pink like you can tell it on my face <laughs> damn wow wow look at that <laughs> pretty much at this point i just have to do a couple more layers of the protective coating they're the clear enamel i mean yeah, I thought I wanted to do a really solid look, but I kind of like it's kind of splotchy. I was thinking about doing a solid color and then painting clouds on it, but this is kind of like 
a similar effect actually. So I just have to clean up a bit. I already cleaned up like a bunch of the boxes and stuff over there, but I'm just gonna clean up, uh, put some of this spray paint away. And we'll see if I'm gonna keep vlogging tonight or if I'm gonna start up again tomorrow. Cause I kinda wanna do all the beading stuff in the daytime and it's already getting dark, you know? I want it to look nice. <laughs> Boy howdy, do I have some things to show ya? I also need an opinion on something. Um, let's see, what did I do today? I did a ton of dishes that I've been holding off on. I still haven't, I need to put some things away from my sister's bridal shower that's just sitting on my counter. Um, yeah, and then I just did my hair and some light makeup, a little tinted moisturizer. Of course, slick back bun. I've always been this way. Like, I generally, if I'm just at home, I do not like having my hair in my face. I just don't know how people can go about their day with like their hair fully down. I just need it like away from my face. I've always been like this. I feel like the Living Proof Dry Shampoo makes this style so nice. Cause I think I'm on like, how many days has it been now that I haven't washed? It's been a, it's been a good amount of time that I haven't washed my hair, it's greasy. But putting the spray in just makes everything sit so nicely. You could probably tell that my hair is not like a first day. It doesn't look greasy slick back. It looks more like styled slick back. I feel really bad, but I completed my big project here. <laughs> and I failed at filming. Check this out. Oh. Here we go. You can see my sink in the distance. No dishes inside of it. Actually, no, there is a nice coffee in there. But I tried filming putting these little guys on, but I did it on the edge of a table, on my coffee table, because I needed the edge to like close these little rings properly. And all the footage was like very blurry because it didn't know where to focus. So I can explain that in a second. Um, the other thing I did was I attached the mirror. I just glued it. So I used E6000. That's what it's called, right? E6000 glue. And then I also decided to attach uh, these little picture frame guys, which you're usually, you know, you screw it into a frame, but I use the same glue and the little picture frame wire. This glue is like super strong, it's industrial strength. So I feel like I should be good uh, with the amount that I, I put on there. And I also decided to put on these little felt stoppers. Josie just, she always starts drinking tons of water when I talk to a camera. I decided to put these on there to actually give some distance from the wall. So there wasn't so much of a, you know, angle here. I have it hanging, let me go back. Um, underneath here in my kitchen. Okay, so I attached these, they're called jump rings and they just have, you can see there's like a little space in there, you know, just kind of bent it and put the uh, little teardrops, not teardrops, raindrops, um, attached it on the bottom there. And I feel like it looks pretty, pretty cool. Maybe, would have been better if I was able to put one more on either side, but this is definitely like the most thought that I've ever put into making something. <laughs> this looks so funny. And I really like how it looks. Um, so over here, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. I thought it was so unique. It's this little um, glass wall vase so you see there's that in the back and it this was over where that was before and i wanted to put this right here so yesterday last night i put a command hook up because that's where it was attached before i don't know does do command hooks like lose oh my gosh oh my gosh see right there i don't know if command hooks like lose their stickiness i used a new one but I've had this same package for a couple years, but I had only put the other one up like a couple months ago. 
And so I used a new one, I did everything, I waited like a few hours to put the vase on there and like three minutes later, all of a sudden I hear this like and then drop. And this fell onto a ceramic little bowl that I had underneath. Thankfully, honestly, like it was like a little Japanese ceramic bowl, but it wasn't like one made by my friend or that I made. So it wasn't like super special to me, but it fell on the ceramic bowl, broke the bowl, and then this stayed intact. I was amazed. I don't know if I should try out another command hook if that was just a fluke. I cleaned the wall with alcohol and everything and waited for that to dry and I did all the steps, but maybe just because this packet was old, it just is not as sticky or something, I don't know. I'm thinking I might just um, actually screw a hook into the wall. It's just that it has to be a really unique size. Usually hooks are like pretty far out from the wall. They're not like shallow. I need one that's shallow, but able to hook through here. Does that make sense? So it just has to be like a unique shape and size. And for some reason, like a command hook actually worked. It would be better just in general in terms of strength and I wouldn't have to worry. I don't even know what I would call this area. You, you know, I have like my keys and stuff over here, but this is my, my lava lamp. Neon Cowboys is like where I have my like light up um, cowboy hat. Pretty much one of my favorite pieces of clothing that I own. But how cool is this? I saw it on their site and I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. Oh, also, <laughs> look at this. I got this for Josie. They had little pet hats, but the string is too is too short for Josie, or it's too small. Um, so I need to figure out some something else because it kind of chokes her a little bit when it's on her. And I think it might. It's supposed to be like on the back and the front. I think maybe I don't know. It's not gonna hurt her or anything, but it's just a too tight. Josie, come here. <laughs> okay, I'll take it off. It's, too, it's tight, I know. I don't think you could hear her, but like when I picked it up, I don't know if she likes it or she knows she's gonna get attention if I put this on her, but I picked it up and then she immediately came over to me. So she knows that this has something to do with her. Huh, Joe? You love attention so much. Josie's love language is pets and cuddles and kisses. Oh, I wish I could include this in this vlog. I got three stools uh, from this place called Vintage on Point, which is a really awesome uh, like vintage furniture store. She like curates all this stuff in Boyle Heights. And these stools though, the upholstery on the top was really old and cracked. So she reupholstered it for me. Initially, I wanted it to be three different colors of like a vinyl, like faux leather, but we couldn't find like the pastel colors that I wanted. She could only find this like pink-ish color. Or it, was, it was a little bit cooler than I wanted. So hopefully I'll like them in person. Um, so over here, we're gonna be having some pink and silver stools. <laughs> So I bought this table from, it was like an office or something in, I don't know where, but it was like an eye doctor office. And I just earlier, like an hour ago, looked underneath here and there's a tag here. It says Walt Disney Company, do not remove. How weird is that? So this is like, Maybe it was from the Disney offices or something initially. So like the eye doctor got it second hand and then I got it third hand or something. I don't know. This is like very attractive crumpling of my body right now. My plan is to do a kind of blue. And these are two of these paints that I got. It's by Fusion, Fusion Mineral Paints. These are like, I think these are chalk paints but they are acrylic. And this paint is specifically made like for furniture. So we have these two colors here. Yeah. And then this is what it looks like painted on 
this piece of cardboard. Now, I, I kind of like the direction that this one is going, but I wanted it to be a bit of a brighter, more like baby blue. And then this one just seemed like too green on the green side. I wanted something in like the middle of this. I just wanted like a true baby blue, but they don't really have the color that I wanted. So this is like kind of a combination of the two. It's not, you know when you stare at a color for so long, you can't tell if you like it or not. Also, I feel like the camera is not picking up. It's picking up more white than blue. I feel like maybe if I held it up against there. Joe, you're really getting all up in here. This Fusion Mineral paint though, so easy to paint. It like dried so fast. So I would love to use this company. Maybe if I could just try and find a better ratio of the these two colors. I was just kind of like messing around with it. I was like one part, two parts and just mixed it together. Also like need to figure out in terms of this glass if I want to have it sit, it's like sitting directly on the wood right now. And I bought these glass stoppers, or not stoppers, it's like glass tabletop little things. They're right here actually. It's like these little plastic things. Sorry if my nails are so yucky looking right now, but these little plastic things to go in between the glass and the wood because I feel like once it's painted, I don't think it would chip as it was like sitting on there cause the glass is so heavy. But if I tried to remove the glass, like I'm worried that it would have been sitting on there for so long that it would like peel the paint off. I'm totally not in focus. Can you see that? That's like, you see these dark spots? That's where the glass is like resting on that wood table part. So maybe I need to put these little stoppers on there. I want it to like look really nice and last. I don't want it to be kind of like a half-ass kind of job. <sighs> so much to think about. I think I just overthink everything all the time. Yep. Oh, last thing, last thing that I need to show you because I painted these. I have been waiting so long to show y'all this little painting by Josie. This was actually done by a subscriber who sent it to me. Thank you so much, Marissa. I've just been waiting to put it into a frame and paint this frame so I could put it up. Um, she wrote me just the sweetest note here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna get this wrong. Her name here is Marissa, right? But then her Etsy shop is Marisu Elena. So that's a U. I thought that was a V. Marisu, Elena, thank you so much. I love this watercolor, Josie. And then this, actually, this watercolor of myself um, was a, a, a street artist in um, Korea, in Seoul, when Jen and I went in, wow, 2015, damn. And I thought that was like a really cool portrait he did. And then that was the other, this is um, actually a photo of my, my friend, John Dragonetti, he, um, took at the very first Black Lives Matter protest. And I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have painted that thing purple, to be honest, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. It's such a historical moment in time, but it's very serious and maybe I shouldn't have painted that like this kind of purple. I just initially had like, you know, I, I thought there was gonna be two colorful frames over here and I was like, well, if this one was just like a black frame, I just wanted to have a little bit more pop of color, but if it's not appropriate for the context of the photo, let me know, cause I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh my gosh, it feels so gorgeous out here right now. And I feel so happy that we have this couch here now. I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I wanna get to editing right away. And I think I'm just gonna bring everything outside here and edit what a gorgeous day. I really hope that y'all are staying safe out there. I think that we might be going back into like lockdown mode. Yeah, hope y'all are staying safe out there, keeping in contact with your loved ones for sure. Thank you to Living Proof for partnering with me in this video. Link will be in the description, of course. 
I love this product. So if you're an oily haired person, oily scalp person like myself, honestly look into it. It's fantastic. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.